In this video, we're going to go over the extremely useful async.q function. This is a nice function that async provides to help you do concurrent processing. So if you ever need to, say, get a list of objects from Amazon S3, where their API has a limit on the number of items you can get at once. So this might be a good candidate for you to put the, the fetch in uh, blocks of 1,000 items, for example, and then put these functions in the queue. So when the first 1,000 item is done, you can call the second set of 1,000 items. So to get it to work, I need to add a helper library called Lodash. So you'll need to put that into package.json and then do npm install. So I already have it installed here. So let's go over the async.q async function. So it may seem to be a lot here, but I'll try to explain it to you what they do. So first, I need to require the async function. And then I need to require the lodash function um, module to help us do some of the tasks. So the, oh, the reason we need lodash is to generate quickly 10 arrays. I mean, one array with 10 elements. So we call, we call the times function with uh, lodash and then call the unique ID function. So this will generate a array of 10 items and each of them will contain something like task and then one, task, and so on. So this will quickly create 10 items for us in an array and we save it to the array called task list. Next we need to create a queue up for our task. So we use async.queue to create this variable. Now async.queue takes a two parameters. One is the actual task uh, handler and then the second parameter is the concurrency you want this queue to execute. So the way it works is, if let's say I have 10 tasks I need to perform, and I need to create, I need to, to execute one at a time. So this is when you will put one, and then it will basically execute each uh, task one at a time. If you need to execute all 10 of them, uh, five at a time, you'll put five here and it'll execute all the function five at a time concurrently. So um, let's go over how it works. So let's say this, uh, don't worry about the stuff inside here for now. Let's say we have a queue set up. Think of a queue as an empty array, I will say. So you want to push items to the queue, which are tasks. So here, remember this variable we have on top? We created 10 arrays with the uh, variable with the value task underscore something. So we want to go through this array using the each function of lodash. And then for each item in the array, we want to push that item into the queue, the task queue. So you basically call task queue dot push and then this thing here is basically what the object you want to pass it into the queue handler. So you'll see what this does later. And then the push function also takes a secondary parameter called callback. And this one is where you do the error handling. And then if you want to log something like done, you know, you can log it here. And I'll explain this later, but for now, after you push your task into the queue, the handler happens here. So here we're saying we're performing the, the task, we do task.name. Task.name comes from here. So this object will be passed into the item here. So the name will, uh, property will be available here. So this is say performing task, task one, task two, or task three. And then we want to know how much, how many more items in our queue are left. So you could access that by doing task queue dot length. So let's say I perform one task, and I have total of ten, and this will now say I have nine tasks left to process. 
And then here we simulate intensive processing by doing a set, time, set timeout. Um, so right now I'm putting each task will need one second to process. So once it's done, you call the callback function here, signaling the queue that this task has been completed. So let's see what the output of this program does. So I, all I have to do is do node async queue.js. And as you can see, it's doing one task at a time, and each task takes one second to perform. You may notice we actually have 11 tasks here, and the first task is actually something called most important task. Now this thing comes from down here. So you can, not only can you push an item into the queue, you can also push an item to the front of the queue by calling the onshift function. This will put this task at the very beginning of the queue. That's why you see it being executed first here. So now we have the concurrence. We have 10 tasks, and they're executing one at a time. Let's speed this up by executing five at a time. So you just run the program again. As you can see, it runs much quicker, and it finishes much quicker. It executes five items at a time. And if we want to execute all of them at once, you just change it to 11, and immediately it's been done. So this thing is really, really useful if you have to queue up certain things. And when you using a third-party API, they have a limit, you know, you queue these things up. So I hope you find this useful.